Hello and welcome to the NetIQ video demonstration. In today's video, we will learn how we can use smartphone authentication as a step up authentication using existing advanced authentication methods. Using advanced authentication methods, you can configure multi factor authentication. Some of the supported advanced authentication classes include FIDO U2F class, a password pin class, and a smartphone class. So let us go ahead and see how a smartphone class will work as a step up authentication. Let us now go ahead and specify the server details first. Click devices, identity server, shared settings, and then click advanced authentication. Now specify the advanced authentication server details here and click OK. Now let us consider a scenario wherein we're taking a risk based policy and we're using smartphone authentication as a step up authentication. Now we create a demo policy here. And if you can notice here, we've used an IP rule and we create a risk levels associated with the policy. So here we've configured a pre-configured smartphone method that we're going to use in the risk policy. Let us now go ahead and create the respective classes for the risk based policy. So again, we go to the classes, local, we create a class for the RBA. Similarly, we create method and we create the corresponding contracts. Now we'll go ahead and also create the smartphone class with a similar method. We go to classes, we create a class and we also define the properties here. Similarly, we create methods and we also create the corresponding contract. Here, we also need to make sure the hierarchy is set correctly. We now need to log in into the advanced authentication server page and configure the repositories. So set the repository here. Next, go to methods and configure a smartphone method. So specify the method details here. Next, let us go ahead and configure the chains. Create a smartphone chain. Now it's the events that we create. So create an event and select smartphone. Let us now go ahead and log into the IDP with an IP address which is not configured in the RBA policy. We select the card. We enter our credentials. And now if you see we are authenticated using a smartphone authentication. So on the smartphone, we enter the pin and we tap accept. And that's it. We are successfully logged into the IDP with the smartphone authentication. So in this video, we learned how we can configure a smartphone method as a step up authentication for risk based authentication. And we used advanced authentication methods in access manager. Thank you. Thank you.